Yeah. 92Q, the best mix of R&B. We got one of our childhood heroes on the phone right yes, now. Yes, we doing do. Doing grown man things Absolutely. nowadays. And so we're going to talk to him a little bit. Mr. Malcolm Jamal Warner, what's yes. going on? Yes, hello, sir. Hey, good morning. How you guys doing? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, I will be a fool to complain. Okay. I know that's right. Congratulations, Dr. AJ Austin. <laughs> Thank you. Season Thank three you coming up. How, how? Tell us about um, your character on The Resident. Um, well, I played uh, Dr. AJ Austin, uh, the uh, uh, one of the top cardiothoracic surgeons in the country, um, who, uh, along with his skill set, is uh, very confident, uh, very arrogant. Um, and it's funny, I think that's one of the things that uh, people love and don't love about the character is uh, is his arrogance. He's very brash, and it's one of the things that I actually love about playing him because he's so arrogant that I often say that I get to play the guy I don't allow myself to be. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice. So you've had extensive uh, uh, an extensive career that spans back to the 80s. What's been your favorite character to play or your favorite movie to be in or TV show? What's been the most enjoyable, enjoyable. for you? Yeah. Um, you know, well, before The Resident, I would have said um, Sneaky Pete uh, would be top of that list, a series with Giovanni Ribisi on Amazon. Mm -hmm. but, wow. You know, to date, I would have to say uh, The Resident. This is the, uh, I'm having such a blast with this, uh, with this role. Um, you know, I always say that it's a, it, it's, it's difficult enough. It's hard enough to get on a good show. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's hard enough to get on the show with good people. But with our show, it's, it's, it's such a good show. Uh, the people on the show from the cast and crew are just really good people. So it's a lot of fun to come to work to. Um, every day, even if I have a 5.30 a.m. call time, uh, at least I know I'm going to be around good people for the next 13 hours. Right. Nice. <laughs> I mean, you, you've been doing this uh, such a long time, man. I mean, you, you've got that, you got the old school background, now you got this new school background. Are there some people uh, you still haven't worked with yet that you would like to just, you know, do this artistic thing with? Oh, shoot. Denzel, mm. Justin Wright. Uh, <laughs> 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 so you got you a little list, huh? I know, that's right. Oh, yeah, there's a list. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, you know, um, ER, St. Elsewhere, Grey's Anatomy, shows like that, uh, the medical shows, um, we see a lot of times where the actors really know their lingo with med medical terms. Are you learning a lot of medical things with this show? Yeah, definitely. Um, now, can I repeat them once the episode's over? <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Hey, that's one hundred. Yeah, but there's a, you know, a, 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 a lot of the preparation you know, that goes into the episodes, uh, you know, really have to deal with taking that medical, those medical terms, and making them sound like everyday words. Mm -hmm. In addition to, you know, the other dialogue and whatever uh, emotion has to be conveyed in the scene, and then if we're in the OR room, um, you know, and we're doing the surgery, we've got to do the medical terms. The dialogue, the emotion, and uh, the surgery as well. So there's a lot that goes into the preparation to make that look like it's something we do every day. One more question, Mr. Warner. What is on your bucket list? Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, You're going to jump out of plane. One of, the, one of the top things on my bucket list. You know, you know, you know I'm a bass player. Um, and one of the top things on my bucket list is to be able to go anywhere in the world, uh, sit in with a band, uh, you know, pick up you know, the bass player's bass, call a tune, and be able to play through that tune anywhere in the world. Wow. Oh, that is that would be. I mean, well, you, you know, you're good at what you do. I'm sure you can do that right now. Just right, jump like, on stage. I'm. I'm. Let's say I'm working on it. I'm. 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 That that has always been a, a dream of mine, but I think uh, definitely now I'm working more toward that goal, uh, you know, uh, more diligently than ever. Nice, man. You you know him as a lot of names: Theo Huxtable, now Doctor AJ Austin, mm -hmm. it's Malcolm Jamal Warner, Catch homie from Jersey the, City. Yeah, Jersey City. You know, Kenny's from Jersey. Yeah, man. Newark in the house. Oh, word. Jersey stand up. Yep, yep, yep. We got The Resident. It's on The Resident, guys. Season 3 coming up on Fox, 7 p.m. Do not miss it. Thank you so much for being on Appreciate the show. Appreciate you, man. Hey, thank you.
Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.